to Rashtavakra 22, live in amazement. How does he begin? When did he do this first? He done this before. When he was talking about the difference between curiosity and wonder. Yes. Ashtavakra number? Five? <laughs> no, no. And I think about it. Twelve. and thirteen. Nature of the mind, where remember he said, about, talked about sex, about mindness, about desire and fear. If you see all these four coming up, what do you do? Just wonder about it. You remember? Yeah. And then he went into Ashtavakra 13, describing the difference between curiosity and wonder. That you remember, no? A monkey can sit and... Every little bead, he'll, it'll break and see. One bead breaking is not enough. Yeah, that is curiosity. So that's where he started it and he had explained it. You have a little background about wonder. Yeah? Now it is on the same similar lines that this continuation is there. Yeah? Live in amazement. Amazement and wonder is the same thing. Yeah? And here it is just a different word, Ascharyam. Yeah? So the sutra is what? Nana Ascharyam Idam Vishwam. This world is nothing but amazing. Everything about it is amazing. Na Kinchiditi Nishchay. There is nothing besides amazement in it. Definitely. Nishchay is definitely. Yeah. Are you wondering about the world? Are you in amazement about the world or have you taken it for granted? You've taken it for granted, no? Ah. We are just not amazed at those few examples that Guruji gave. How the birds build their nest. Yeah? How the water becomes vapor and then becomes clouds. Yeah? Maybe when we were little kids, we had that wonder. But as we grew up, we lost it. You know? Bring that back into your life. Why? Guruji gave you that reason also. When you are not amazed by it, what happens to you? Who remembers? Beautiful. Yeah. When you are not amazed by it, you get caught up in the phenomena, he said. Yeah. When you are amazed by this world, you will not get stuck in this world. So this is homework number one for you. Instead of complaining, why is this person like this and why is this situation happening to me and why I did not get this thing, this why, 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 drop it. Just see. Oh, this is happening to me. Wow. Amazing, man. Yeah, just be amazed at it. Yeah, this creation is really nothing but amazing. Yeah, everything is amazement. And he gave you homework. You got your homework, no? Yeah, Guruji gave you homework. Instead of complaining, why is this happening to me? Just be amazed at it. Oh, this is happening to me. Do you remember? Yeah. Just be amazed at the world. Yeah. Drop this complaining. Yeah. You described it so well now. All you complain about why <coughs> this one said this and that one said this and why this happened and that happened and... All silly things, nonsense. Yeah. Drop, drop, completely drop it. Yeah. Just be amazed. This is all happening. Yeah. It is amazing. 
clear? The first line is clear? Yeah? Nana Ashtaryam idam vishwam nakinchid iti nishchay What is the second one? Nirvasana Sfurti matro What is vasana? Impressions of what? Everything. The situation that yeah. Jack in, or the life and dislikes. Understand how is an impression caused? How is an impression caused? We've the done guy, If you hate a person, that impression is. You associate with the object. object. With the object. And huh. with your senses. Your senses go out and. Huh. Fantastic. So how how is the impression caused? What is what is the cause of this impression? You just said the mind goes out and it gets stuck in the sense objects. Then what? Raga and Dvesha lead to Vasana. We've done this n number of times, guys. Hana? Yeah? Vasana is caused by my Raga or Dvesha. Simple. Raga means emotionally I like something. Dvesha means I dislike something. There is an emotion attached. Wherever there is an emotion, I am creating impressions. Whether like or dislike, there is a vasana. Yeah, an impression is created. Got it? It is the same thing as karma. It's the same thing. Not just an action leads to a karma, but even my thought of something leads to a karma. Got it? So, vasana is nothing. Not only the my action leads to karma, but also my thought leads to karma. Got it, no? Yeah. I think about something. I may not go and shout at somebody, but I keep thinking about it in my head only. In my head only, I am shouting at him or her. In real life, I may really never get up and go and shout and scream. Yeah? But in my head, I am boiling with that anger. I have created the karma. Impression is created. You got it? Yeah. So, action as well as thought, both lead to an impression or karma. Yes? And then Guruji had described any attraction and entanglement into the five senses is called Vasana. Any entanglement. Yeah, then he gave many examples. You remember, no? If you keep thinking about food all the time, you've eaten, but you keep thinking about it after eating. It is Vasana. Yeah? Just like that he said about sex, about relationships. Yeah? Whether you hate somebody, you keep thinking about it, you are entangled in it. Yeah? They suck your potential and they completely leave you empty. Just the thought of that person or that thing. Yeah? This is a vasana. It is nothing but an addiction. Yeah? And there is no joy or fulfillment in it. Yeah? You should... Recognize your own vasanas. So this is homework number two for you. Yeah? Recognize, do you have vasanas in any of the five senses still? And if they are, what are they? Recognize them.
and after you recognize then what Be amazed, and he told you very beautiful things. Furti matra, that you are the source of joy. Recognize this. Unnecessarily, I have attached unnecessary importance to something else. Yeah, I have got addicted to a relationship or a thing. Guruji gave you the example of coffee. Remember? Huh? Guruji gave the example of coffee. You remember the coffee vasana example? So what is your homework number two? Sphurti matra. Sphurti matra, Guruji says, you are the source of light. You are the source of joy. You are the source of bliss and enthusiasm yourself. Stop giving this unnecessary importance to this object that you are addicted to. Yeah, whatever it is out of the five senses that you identify, this is my vasana. Yeah. For example, he told you, like you go and have ice cream and you are experiencing the bliss while having the ice cream. He said, drop that object. He just gave you the example of ice cream, but whatever your object is, you drop. And recognize that that bliss is within me. I am the source of that bliss. This is Purti Matra. You become the bliss alone. You are the bliss. You have just forgotten because you are lost in the Vasanas. So that is the Sutra. Nirvasana. Sphurti Matra. You become devoid of Vasanas and you recognize that you are the joy. You are the bliss. Sphurti matra. Na kinchid eva. Shamyati. Na kinchid eva means you are nothing but a glow of light. Yeah? You remember the beautiful example he gave? He said, you are like a flame. Yeah? And this body is like the wick of a candle. And karma is the wax. As long as the karma is there, the wick can hold the flame. Yeah? When this karma is exhausted, what happens? Yeah? The soul just leaves. Yeah? You are that soul which is sticking onto this body. You are not the body. Recognize this. You have a body. Yeah? You are actually nothing. Just a glow of light. Na kinchid eva. Yeah? Recognize this. I am chitta swarupa. I am the glow. And then Guruji only gave you homework. What is the homework? You are a glow of light. Go to sleep tonight as if I am a glow of light. I am nothing other than the consciousness. I do not exist. Yeah. He said that no very beautiful thing he said. Live as if you do not exist. Yeah. I am nothing. Remind yourself, I am nothing. Yeah. This this homework, this homework number three, this reminder will help you go beyond cravings and aversions. Beyond Raga and Dvesha. Yeah? And why should I go beyond Raga and Dvesha? Yeah? To cut off my Agami Karma. To get out of this cycle of birth and death and birth and death and birth and death. Otherwise what happens? The person you hate, you are definitely born to that person only. In that person's house only you will be born. Yeah? You don't want that, no? Yeah? So throw this hatred out. Live as if you are nobody. You are just a glow of light. Yes. And here very beautiful thing Guruji said. 
that this recognition becomes stronger and stronger in you yeah and this recognition itself is called the joy of uniting with the self is yoga and this joy of uniting with the self is 100 times more than the joy of sex or any relationship you remember guru ji saying this So this first sutra is clear completely. Yeah, absolutely. You will go to the next sutra. Yeah. What is the next sutra? Kaya Krtya. What is Kaya? Body. Krt. Action. Yeah. So with the body, I have done a. lot of physical actions lot of actions i have done sah is with huh? purvam before now janaka is talking here recognize this ashtavakra completes his talking here in chapter 11 chapter 12 janaka starts talking i'm talking about the real chapters of ashtavakra not our book huh? so this is with the body earlier purvam purvam i have done many many actions tato vag vistarah sah i have also done a lot with vag vistar vag speech yeah vistar hindi word vistar lengthy detailed speech i keep speaking i keep speaking i have spoken in thousand thousands and thousands of words atah chinta sahas tasmad i have been thinking incessantly unstoppably i have been thinking forever now i am averse to all of this averse to action averse to lengthy speeches and averse to even thinking yeah very beautiful thing janaka has said ha huh? it's a self realization and it comes when you are on this path and i'm sure it must be happening to at least some of you and you don't feel like speaking unnecessary rubbish as you used to speak earlier have you noticed that yeah your your intelligence is so sharpened now you speak only you know when required yeah at least a little bit it has started happening na yeah? yeah not just that you don't feel like doing unnecessary things too much yeah what is required what is meaningful yeah that which is for the greater good i do right yeah it's a natural thing that will happen on this path ha huh? it's a natural dispassion that sets in that everybody experiences yeah and the point will come where even a thought will seem like a weight too much burden and even this thinking chitter chatter which goes on at the back is completely stops full stop yeah you are at rest that is the real rest yeah, when it becomes your nature to be quiet is your nature then suddenly if you need to talk even to yourself it is a tool required to probably do something that's it it is in my hands it does not rule me anymore you see what i'm saying It is a very beautiful realization that Janaka has here. Yeah. So the last part here is, eva meva ha, astit ta ha. Eva meva, like this, I am established now. I am at peace now. Like this means devoid of action, devoid of thought, and devoid of speech. Ha. Huh? that does not mean he is sitting in his room all alone not doing anything 
What does he mean? What does he mean? there is no more doership left in him. Yeah? There is no more janaka left. There is no janaka. He has gone beyond that. Yeah? I'll tell you a story. Story of Buddha. Yeah? Anand was Buddha's disciple. Yeah? For 42 years, Anand was with Buddha and Buddha kept giving sermons and doing satsang and telling, you know, whatever, talking about knowledge. Then one evening, Buddha was just sitting in the room like that and just casually sitting with Anand. And so he tells Anand, you know, it's been... 42 years and I have not said a word. So Anand says, what? 42 years I have been with you. Every evening you are talking. What are you saying? You give satsang and sermon every evening and you are saying 42 years you haven't said a word? He said, yes. 42 years I have not said a word. And he just stopped there. Yeah. Buddha did not exist. This is the homework that Guruji is giving you. Yeah. Tonight, go to bed as if I do not exist. There is no I. No doership. Yeah. Don't go to bed as somebody. I am nobody. Just a glow. Understand, na? there is no I there. Yeah? Sometimes even when I am teaching, I am not talking. It's like Guruji is talking through me. Yeah? That happens when you are completely hollow and empty. Yeah? It is, there is no I. Main baas ki pongri. Tu bajai, tu main bajau. Tu chup rahe, tu main shant ho jau. What is a baas ki pongri? The, jo, baasuri jo hai na? Yeah, just the, just the baasuri. Whatever, Krishanji is praying or you know somebody's praying. Yes. That's, the music is coming out. So. Absolutely. Like yeah. Buddha is the Pansuri mm -hmm. and whatever is God is giving or whatever the knowledge is, so it's just coming through. It just comes through. Yeah. When you are hollow and empty, yeah, when you drop that I, 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 I did this, I did this, this is all doership. I am something. Yeah. Or I do something. Yeah? Or I have something, I possess something. This is all I. When you drop all I, I am not there only. You become hollow and empty. Like a flute. Baski Pongri is a flute made of brass. Yeah? I am a hollow flute. You play and the music comes out. Yeah? If you stop, there is nothingness. Got it now? Yeah. Be hollow and empty. Hollow and empty. That's the same thing Guruji makes us do in the advanced course. Yeah. I am hollow and empty. I am nothing. Yeah. So I'll go ahead. 
You see, so many lifetimes I have wasted just doing things and engaging in empty conversations and I have just been wasting my energy thinking unnecessary things. Yeah. Now I am at rest. Yeah. Eva meva astita is now I am in at rest, devoid of action, speech, or thought. Yeah. So here Guruji will give you some homework. He says, Are you indulging in unnecessary talk, meaningless talk? What was the example he gave? Where did you buy this cloth? How can I get it? You remember? So this is homework number four for you. Yeah, or five, whatever. That. Are you still indulging in meaningless talk? Yeah, either watch yourself. It's either meaningless talk or the other thing that you indulge is, is you know, no, no, I am seriously telling you this for your good. Or I am right. Yeah, wherever you want to prove yourself right. This is the second type of rubbish talk that we do. Yeah. So when I notice I'm doing something like this, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. I am nothing. Yeah. Drop this somebodyness that you have. Yeah. And move towards nobodyness. I am Nobody. I am nothing. Yeah. Guruji said a very beautiful thing here. He said, weigh your words before you speak. They are pearls of your life. Don't lose them for nothing. You know? Yeah. So you see, are you weighing your words? Yeah. He says, no, thousand words cannot convey what a glance can and thousand glances cannot convey what silence can. Okay, so do your homework very sincerely this week. huh? Watch yourself every time you speak. What am I saying? Is this meaningless? If it's meaningless, silence yourself. Yeah. See, it's okay if you did it some years ago when you were not in knowledge but now that you are in knowledge it is not pardonable yes Guruji also said this today yeah if you remember few Ashtavakras ago he called this Pragya Aparad you remember yeah Pragya Aparad is the crime the biggest crime crime of the awareness Somebody doesn't know. He's an ignorant person. He can be pardoned. But somebody who is knowledgeable, who has been on this path, yeah, it is not pardonable for that person. Yeah? So watch everything that you say from now on. Homework number four for you. Okay? I'll go ahead with the next sutra. Pritya abhavena shabdadre. Pritya delight. Priti yeah? or liking or loving. Yeah? Abhav. Abhav is in the absence. So in the absence of delight. Delight from what? Shabda. Shabda is sound. Okay. Though it's, it feels like words to you, but in Sanskrit, the word for sound is Shabda. Yeah? So in the absence of delight for sound and Drishta Vina. Drishta Vina, Drishta is sense of sight. Shabda is sense of sound, Drishta is sense of sight. And Vina is the same as the Hindi word Bina. Huh? So, 
this can literally be translated as in the absence of that uh, craving or longing or love for sound and for sight sound and sight you got what he wants to say now when you don't have that craving to listen to something or to see something then what atmanah vikshepai vikshepa is distraction yeah the soul is free of this distraction yeah and ekagraha hridayam the heart is one pointed yeah and we'll understand this uh, in details in a moment yeah eva mevaha asthitah i am established like that so how am i established i am established because my heart has become one pointed yeah and i'm free from distractions that is why i'm established and why has all this happened because i have lost that craving for sound and for sight that has dropped off now do you understand yeah now these are janaka's words huh see janaka has suddenly you know like his lights have come on it's like waking up completely he says now i am at rest i'm not interested in collecting any more karma through action speech or through thoughts yeah i am absolutely nothingness yeah and in that nothingness obviously i don't have a craving to you know listen to somebody's words whether you know love or appreciation or approval or saying something great or loving me i don't have that craving neither am i averse to any criticism so no craving or aversion for sound got it and i have no craving or aversion for sight yeah i am at rest Now, what is the meaning of making your heart one-pointed? Very beautiful, huh? We've heard about the mind being one-pointed, but heart being one-pointed is so amazing. Heart being one-pointed is when, when I am not rushing. you know in my heart there are not many emotions going in opposite directions when in the mind there are thoughts of i like and i dislike yeah the thought leads to an emotion inside yeah there is a good feeling towards what i like and there's a bad feeling for something that i am averse to yeah so the heart is not one pointed it is divided all the time it is divided in because of so many thoughts yeah so we always have heard about ekagra man but ekagra hridaya is so beautiful yeah that he is not torn apart by his cravings and aversions yeah he is completely at rest yeah so homework number 5 for you make your heart one pointed yeah you will see that all restlessness will disappear you will be at peace it will reflect from you know just just being in your presence people will feel that peace yeah a one pointed heart is not only for that person but that person can completely lift an environment yeah can actually affect other people's hearts yeah they feel it you feel like that when you meet guru ji no yeah all your thoughts and all your questions that you had come with everything goes away yeah it's just emptiness nothingness 
peace is nothing but lack of these unnecessary emotions of craving and aversion and jealousy and hatred and you know, all the crazy things that you could feel. Yeah? That is peace where there is none of this. Yeah? And when you are in that peace, you become a devotee. And what was the thing that he said about a devotee? Very beautiful thing he said. Tell me. Who remembers? He will make that indefinitely for the God. Ah. Make thousands of years. He is ready always. Absolutely. Yeah. A devotee says, you come whenever you want. I am ready. My house is clean. Yeah. The candle is lit. The door is open. You come when you want. You come this moment or you come in a thousand years. Yeah. Don't be spiritually feverish. People usually leave other things and they say, Oh, I'm not feverish about kids. I'm not feverish about money. I'm not feverish about cars. Yeah, I'm not feverish about name, fame. I have dropped all that. Yeah, But then they become feverish about enlightenment. When will I become enlightened? When will I become enlightened? Yeah, A true devotee, a true sadhak. Yeah, he says, whenever you want to come, you come. Enlightenment is that. Some God is not going to walk into your house. Yeah, understand. It's just proverbial. And let that awareness dawn on me whenever it wants to. I can wait forever. Bhat nihare ghansham Nena nirbhare Kab aoge muridham Nena nirbhare just keep waiting. You come when you want to come. Yeah. My door is open. The candle is lit. Are you ready to wait? Yes, as long as it takes. Yeah. Just cultivate this. What you're feeling right now, this is called one-pointedness of the heart. Yeah. This love. This patience. Just be in it. And one day, God has to come. He doesn't have an option. Yeah. More than you, He wants to meet you. So he will be there. Beautiful realization, na? Janaka is amazing, really amazing. I completed the full Ashtavakra. Is there any other point, any sutra, anything I missed?